Ron Paul campaign responds to controversy. And their thing is, hey, we're just playing politics. Oh, well, that I, I didn't think that was the Paul brand that I bought into. And they're like, hey, Rand's not Ron. Really, the fundraiser letters I get sure implied that. When I supported him, he sure acted like that. And I don't like the drifting I've seen. We've seen a lot of drifting. Let's say he was right on target. Two years ago with Ron Paul, and then he drifted 30, 40 degrees or so. There's a big drift here, and it's it's going so so we're hey, we don't like that. And some people are like, hey, we're winning. You know, what do you want, Obama? No, I don't want Obama, and I don't want Mitt Romney either. Again, it's that false choice. Hey, do you want grape flavored cyanide, Kool-Aid, or cherry flavor? Or how about coconut? Or or how about uh raspberry? Or we have strawberry. And I'm like, but it's the same thing. It's some food coloring some sugar, and some cyanide. I, I don't want any of these. It's kind of like, which amusement park do you want to go to for vacation? You can go to any one you want. This is a sales tactic. You can go to Disney World, or you can go to, uh, you can go to Six Flags, or you can go to SeaWorld water parks. And I'm like, I, you know what? I don't, I don't like big crowds. I, I, how about I don't want to go to any of those. I think I'm going to take my kids uh, to the coast. Oh, you just don't want to go on vacation. See, it's these mind games they play with us. If Mitt Romney wasn't such a total betrayer in his entire career of fake goody two-shoes behavior, I could say, well, I think we're going to get betrayed, but Obama's so bad, moving so quick. Let's repudiate all the crimes of Obama by getting Mitt Romney in there. How about we impeach Obama? How about we start arresting the criminals like Holder? Boy, let me tell you, Republicans started doing that. Started get, but see, they can't because they're all involved too. What does Holder say? And I predicted this six months before it happened. What did Holder say? When it was brought up, hey, you lied in Fast Furious, he said uh, Bush was running similar programs and Issa went, oh, uh, meeting adjourned, let's not go there. Because they're all involved in Iran-Contra type stuff before Iran-Contra even happened. Guns into the country to control the drugs, the drugs back in. I mean, do you think the $500 billion plus in drug money a year just in the United States, do you really think that crack house with no windows, with some crack whores walking around out front of it, do you really think they're managing that $500 billion? No, we know who's managing it. Wells Fargo and Wachovia, $376 billion from 2008 to 2010 alone. Source AP, Bloomberg, Fox, Reuters, you name it. The troops start complaining about growing the opium. They just have the troops stand in formation in front of BBC, ABC, Fox, CNN, on every channel. Yeah, we help grow it. We don't like it, but if we don't, the Al-Qaeda will get the money. The Al Qaeda will get the money, the, you know the, uh, the 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 garden gnomes that we're all supposed to be so afraid of will get us. The same ones they're publicly using to give Libya over to, and now Syria. Publicly, they have Al Qaeda blowing up police stations and military bases, engaging in massacres. They got caught planning a chemical attack this weekend that was going to be blamed on on Assad. With Hillary running around saying we've got to invade, and she starts crying on stage. The massacres are so horrible. Look, here's a picture of a dead woman. I mean, these are people who will kill millions to take over areas. Ethnic cleansing of 40 plus thousand black people lined up and shot or macheted, much of it on video. And Hillary's laughing. We came, we saw, he died. <laughs> yeah, he came in, did what we said, invested his country's money with us. We invaded him and stole it and killed people and turned loose Al Qaeda to kill the blacks. And by the way, we're going to, Al Qaeda says they're going to kill all the Jews in Syria and force the Christians out. I mean, that's official Al Qaeda. And they're going to go into Syria, they're going to force the Christians out, they're going to kill the Jews, and it'll be in the back of the newspaper. Oh, it'll, it'll even be in the news. Like, you don't know what you're reading. Like, you're an idiot. Like, I'm an idiot. Oh, we got to give our rights up. Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda. Meanwhile, Al Qaeda publicly works for the big mega banks. After a weekend of rage amongst Ron Paul supporters over Rand Paul's endorsement of Mitt Romney, the Ron Paul campaign has issued its first quasi-official response to the controversy in the form of a video blog by Jack Hunter, who argues that the endorsement is a political move 
You know, we get political moves, politics over principle. Designed to position the Kentucky senator to be a presidential run in 16. Yeah, designed to position all the political hacks, a lot of the mainline Republican strategists that they brought into Rand and Ron's offices. And by the way, folks, if I wanted to go after Ron Paul and Rand, I could do it. What families told me, what high-level staff have told me, stuff going back a while. And I'm like, man, I'm really worried about all these mainline Republicans. I mean, Aaron Dykes, for heaven's sakes, took went with his mother a few years ago to D.C. and went into Ron Paul's office and said, oh, yeah, uh, hi, we're here. Uh, you know, I work with Alex Jones. And the staffers began to jump up and down hissing, basically saying, we hate Alex Jones. Until other staffers came and said, oh, no, 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 we like Alex Jones. There's been an internal war with a bunch of little rich kids that want to be politicians infesting the Paul operation. And the fact that they were there beforehand, they weren't influencing things, though. Now it appears they're starting to take over. So we're saying, great, take over, play politics. We're not going to be part of it. Very simple. Free country. Enjoy yourselves, Jesse Benton. But, but next time I get Republican mail that I never got until I gave money to Ron Paul and Rand Paul from every Republican candidate you can imagine, neocons, you name it. I mean, what, did somebody steal the list of Ron Paul donors? No. Campaign for Liberty is pimping the list out and getting upwards of 10% of the money raised for other candidates. And, and, and look, that's fine. So... So Jesse Benton can make more than Carl Rove, a half million dollars a year? Whatever. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. Like I said, some of you neocon libertarians are like, Alex, you better not badmouth Paul. You better shut up if you think I'm trying to bring down Ron Paul. Shut up. Shut up, you little neocon scum. Shut up or I'll sink your entire ship right now. Shut up. Shut up. Do you read me? Shut up. Shut up. Stop trying to steal this country and take over and ruin Ron Paul's legacy and ruin Rand Paul. You're screwing up a chance to take this country back, you morons. All of you with your little speech impediments and the rest of it, you know who I'm talking about. All right, that's enough. I'm going to stop right there. Okay, I, I, again, I understand why they did this. I don't agree with it. And I'm done talking about it for now. I got all this other news. I'm, I'm, I'm going to cover and take your calls. It's it, it just that I start thinking about my hot button issues here. Campaign for Liberty is endorsing all these neocons now. I mean, I, I just, if it keeps going this way, I'm going to have to assemble all the evidence. And just so it's clear that I have nothing to do with it, I'm going to have to come after you politically. And, and you're a bunch of arrogant fools. You think I want to hurt you bad politically? You guys are so arrogant up there now, so starstruck. I've talked to people and I go, yeah, Ron Paul's really becoming popular with most Yeah, he's a rock star. You're sitting there talking to the press secretary. And the person's all getting off on it. Someone who's never had media power. And, and you're listening to him and, and you find out that people are on power trips. Now, Ron Paul isn't. I don't think Rand is. But let me tell you something. Get a hold of all those snot-nosed people you got working for you or we'll get a hold of them for you. I'm going to stop right there. I meant to be nice. <sighs> if Rand has not endorsed Romney 2012, every single Republican in the race would use his non-endorsement to bash Senator Paul relentlessly, like they did your father. That's what people want to see. It's popular to be contrarian. That's why Ron Paul was really winning and got cheated, argues Hunter, adding that Paul would be blamed for Obama achieving a second term in office. No, you just point out that you're not endorsing either one of them. Or you make a joke and say, I support R R Romney Obama 2012. You have a co-presidency because their policies are exactly the same. Should Rand Paul be victorious in securing the 16 Republican nomination and go on to become president? Will anyone care if Rand Paul endorsed Mitt Romney for president 2012? Ask Hunter. See, there's the disconnect. Hey, why not have Ron Paul endorse some wars if it gets him elected? You know, why not compromise? Similarly, Hunter argues that if Mitt Romney won, Rand would have more leverage to become a strong critic and a rallying point for other Tea Party lawmakers should Romney become the George W. Bush 2.0. Oh, I think it'll be worse. There is no shame in compromising politically to achieve principles. Compromise to achieve principles. Boy, you talk about doublespeak. But we can never compromise our principles to simply advance politically, states Hunter. That's what you just did. 
Noting that Senator Paul's voting record is consistently pro-liberty. Uh, sanctions on Iran. Should I go on? And here's my quote in here that I sent to Paul. I want to add a line here. Although I was initially very hurt and angry, I understand politically why the decision was taken. The source of my real anger and disgust is the corrupt political process itself, said Jones. People love Ron Paul because he never compromises principles. It's about principles, not politics. America needs principles because compromised politics has gotten us where we are today. Pointing out that it was delusional to think that Ron Paul was not involved in Rand's decision, Jones believes the move is a miscalculation. The Pauls are an ally for liberty in government, but their decision to integrate themselves with the Republican establishment will backfire in the long run, warned the radio host. <sighs> and it just goes on. Yeah, I understand why they did it, but I don't agree with them. And I don't like the sharp-eyed politicos that they're surrounding them with. Okay? Okay? It's just that simple. And I'm not going to just play along so I can get people on my radio show and, you know, get invited to the inauguration or something. I could care less. I've been around national politics. I've been around big, glistening media complexes. It's a bunch of fake, plastic, empty people. But for folks out there that aren't confident and don't feel fulfilled, the power of having staffers kissing your rump and the suits and the helicopters and the media appearances and all of it, people buy into the delusion. And I'm not buying into it. And I know that if Obama gets in, it's going to be a disaster. And if Mitt Romney does, it's going to be a disaster. Because the globalists own them. This is the globalist agenda. The New World Order. Something we don't hear about very often from the Pauls now. So get back to your roots. Call straight ahead and then a giant blitzkrieg of news coming up. Stay with us. I'm Alex Jones of PrisonPlanet.tv. All right, let's start going to your phone calls here. Let's talk to Dean in Virginia. Dean, you're on the air, broadcasted worldwide. Thank you for joining us. What's on your mind today? Alex, I, I'm confused. I, I've seen and I've watched your uh, support of the polls for many, many years. And what confuses me that the total support that you and his, the listeners and the viewers give that he didn't before. And this is, by the way, the Paul's decision, it seems, happened right after the Bilderberg meeting. And all of a sudden, they come out with the support of Romney. What surprises me is that with all your support, that he didn't have the decency to contact you back channels or even private, privately. Well, here's the deal. Paul said four years ago, without me asking on air, that half his support in the, in the first campaign came from this show. And that's why Ron Paul's always come back here. I mean, I was interviewing Ron Paul 16 and a half years ago before almost anybody knew who he was. And, you know, their view is now they've hired a bunch of high-powered Republican people, and they don't need Alex Jones anymore. They don't need their this, – this move, they knew there was going to be a backlash. They say, we want the mainline Republicans now. Dad's retiring. He'll go off and speak to student groups and, I guess, raise money. For Rand, and Rand is being brought down the aisle in a big white bride dress to, to get married to the Republican establishment. And I'm just saying I'm not going to the wedding. I mean, I hope that, you know, Rand takes off the dress and runs out and decides not to do it. I mean, I think this is a bad move. What do you think? I think they should have still contacted you to discuss it with you.